know I hold heat 30 deep with the Morton boys Shake up the city when I serve all the water boys Axe pops from the road, nigga, who had it sold For 10 years straight, your boy had the best coat Ronald Road been my nigga since 99 Introduce yourself to the world Love you It's your boy Frey, man Formerly known as AWOL, WALL You know all that You know ATL living, y'all see it it's all on the premises where we live at, gated community, pools, pool rooms, weight rooms, all that, you know, just chilling, man. Told y'all I'm going out of town to get my strength back. I'll be back. Oh, 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 oh. Coming up, how do you explain your, your, your childhood coming up? Like, was it... You know, like my childhood coming up, I was born in the city. I was born on Fairmont Street, Northwest, uptown. Anybody know Fairmont Street, uptown? Uptown is the money getters. So that's where my uncles and them grew up at. Then we moved out southeast before we came. Came to Calvary Heights about, about when, like, when I was eight. You know what I'm saying? You know, just regular, regular hood shit, man. Like, Regular shit people go through. I got jumped for who my uncle was one time. I took a night to school, got kicked out. You know what I'm saying? It was at the end of the school year. So that's when we moved out Maryland when she got a little hectic. And uh, you know, when we moved to Bonneville, it was the same old shit. Like, we thought it was gonna be, my mother thought it might have been better. <laughs> but it was the same bullshit going on in, in Calvary Heights than it was in South Beach, you feel me? So, like I said, yeah, good times, had bad times. But one thing about Bonneview, man, we always stuck together. So childhood was just, you know, regular childhood hood shit. Just yeah. try and get a dollar. This is my block. Fuck around and get body from my... Like, yo, I come from a single parent house, so I, my father was never in the picture. I actually fought him once because, you know, he did some... He did some wild shit one day, you know, and we just happened to run back into each other, but that's neither here or there. But uh, I grew up with my mother, grandmother, grandfather. My uncles and them were still in the house when I was real young. So a lot of people, all my friends know, close friends know, I call my mother Connie. Because, you know, I was, everybody was still in the house when she had me. She had me when she was 15. And uh, everybody was telling her maybe she should, she should abort me and all this, and she was like, fuck no. So, you know, my mother's the strongest person I ever met, man, but, you know, she held me down, grandma. So, basically, they both, basically my mother and grandmother held me down, so. It, you don't miss it when you're young, but you have characteristics of when you grow up, when you ain't, because I have a, I know I have a problem with male authority, <laughs> you feel me? So, ain't no nigga gonna tell me nothing. So it's different. My life probably would have been a little different if my father was in a was in the picture. Maybe I, you know, maybe I'd be playing professional football right now. But that wasn't the path God chose for me, so I'm here doing what I'm doing. I shot on my land. We you know me, man. Jack of all trades, man. On my plan. Speak on my I ain't really playing cool to that man. To the A on man, something's to bust my head. Game. This is my city. Know. This is my town. Capital Heights, for the world that don't know, can you express, explain to the world where it's Capital Heights located so they can be familiarized with what you're yelling? Man, most spots of Capital Heights is, is a rock throw from D.C. Where I stayed 41st, I stayed there 10 years. My hood is Bonneview, Ashton Road, Ronald Road. 6500 block, everybody know that. But Cap Heights is right outside the city. You know what I'm talking about? You got Big Ben, you got you got 41st, you got all that's from, from Capitol Heights and all that's just two minutes away from the city at the most. The nation's so, capital. Nation's capital, you did. But well, you know me, man, Bonneview County Hound, man. We rep the county where I'm from. Okay. What year you started doing music? Cause I mean, we listen to your music and we, you know, hear a lot of street 
you know, sounds and, you know, the years that you were mostly in the streets and, you know, we trying to figure, like, what year did Frey just decide, like, I'm going to start rapping? Like, what year did rap come to your mind for you? Well, it started about 02. You know, matter of fact, I think Renner was first. No, Renner and Killer Keith was first. And then uh, I decided to do it. But we didn't get serious prior to about 05. 06 when we start really putting out stuff but you know it was simple and everybody from the hood crime crime 2.0 he was with us at one time well he's still with us he just up in new york doing his thing but you know it really got serious probably about 05 06 that's when we really start taking it serious simple move to the a show us this uh it's bigger than the city. Y'all don't got shit like this guy, right? No. Cool shit. No ATL man. And the name Frey, where does that actually come from? Like, what's the definition behind the name? You know, Frey, Frey is actually, Frey is actually a gangster from, from Northwest, Uptown, D.C. And uh, I was just sitting back and I was thinking, man, don't nobody rep the the real niggas from where we from, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, my name was Wall, and through, you know, business terms and all that, and all that, you know, iTunes and all that, I decided to change my name, you know, New Beginning. Like I said, like I, it's, it's, my career is on a new, on a new plane, so I decided to change my name, man, get get something popping and rep the real niggas from where I'm from. Frey, and also Frey like me, man. He was really about home. You feel me? Everybody, if anybody you ask about Frey, they said he was a good nigga and he rep for home. So, and that's me. And I rep for home. You know, you don't really see that a lot. Like, you see a lot of people using, like, you know, Italian gangsters and, you know, right. just gangsters from all over. You don't really catch, like, people, you know, Using names of people that actually reflect, you know, since 50 Cent with 50 Cent, you know, you don't really catch that, so. Yeah, like, like 50 said, man, them, them Italian niggas wouldn't shake your hand, you feel me? So, why, why take their name? And it's, it's real black gangsters. You got Bumpy Johnson, you got, you got all types of real nigga corn from our city. You know, me and that corn, uh, there's a lot of them. Wayne Perry. You know what I'm saying? Real stand-up niggas, man, that 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 took got, you know, had their time, took their time like men, came home and or whatever and 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 went right back to doing what they was doing. You feel me? So I I wouldn't me personally, I wouldn't take no Italian mob for name. Cause like I said, if you couldn't shake my hand then you ain't worth me rep. Coming from an area most known for go go style music or more blues with Duke Ellington type. What kind of music did you listen to? What were some of the artists that you came up to listening to? Well, you know, Go-Go is the mainstay where we from, regardless. Like I said, I went to the Icebox every night, you know, during my time when I was a Go-Go head. I went to the Icebox every night, they had something, but like I said, Scarface, Big Influence, Beanie Siegel, uh, all the Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? That's my era, the Cash Money era, the No Limit era. You know, that's you know, basically that's it. Okay. Now, with your music, man, we can hear oh, Biggie and Pop too. Not to cut you off, but you know, you gotta say them. Oh yeah. We hear different tracks. Like we may hear like a, a Summer Tactic style track. Mm -hmm. Then you might hear Dip It Low. How does someone with your street credibility or your street, you know, sense, how, how is it for you to transition from making, like, one type of music or, you know, something with a good little sample or so? Like, how is it that you can manage to make music to touch everybody? Like, yeah, everybody go through different emotions. Like, nobody is one way. If you see a nigga who's always frowning and always mad all the time, he's probably bluffing. You feel me? So everybody has different emotions at different times. Sometimes you happy, sometimes you, you want to party, sometimes you, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to carry your gun and, and you mad for the day, but 
it's just different motion. So once that emotion hit me on a certain day, I, I feel a beat and I make the song. So it's 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 no way it's no way you one way. You feel me? So yeah. I just keep it pushing like that. Okay, so you yeah, Bond of You, Capitol Heights, Maryland. I mean, most people outside of that area would be more familiar with either Baltimore or DC right. itself. Like, what what do you what do you say Capitol Heights was like? Like, during your run, what where did Capitol Heights stand? Like, far as street wise or you know, Cap Capitol Heights is. Like it's it's real niggas and bitch niggas everywhere. Everybody know that. If you don't know that, then you're you blind to the fact, or you ain't really from the street. You feel me? Like Cap Heights, is, you got your gangsters, you got your you got your the soft niggas, you got your snitches, you got it's, it's the same thing everywhere. You feel me? It's just it might look a little better than the city, but same shit go on. You feel me? So you know, like man, Bond of you back in in our run with me, Jai, it. It was very few rips that, that got money like a city rip in Maryland because you, everybody knows Maryland rips don't last long. You feel me? Because the police is coming. They was coming on our block and, you know, shit got fucked up for a while. But Cap Heights was, Cap Heights was we was really getting money. If you, if you was smoking weed at that time, you came through Bonneview. You feel me? And it was, it was a few rips like that. Homer, Big Ben. A lot of places was getting a lot of money, 41st, and then them all in Capitol Heights for real, with Cal home and suiting them, but it's very few rips in Maryland that bang like a city rip, you feel me? And you know, for a time, we had one of them. So, like I said, man, I don't know about nowhere else. Bonneview's my home, and we one block, one neighborhood, and we hold it down.